girl JJ back on the VV. I can tell by that title today is a cooking with Jayla video. Another one. Um, today we'll be cooking hibachi. This is my first time ever making hibachi at home. I usually just go to the restaurant and they just cook it for me. Um, comment down below what is your favorite thing you like to eat when you go to hibachi? Do you like hibachi? I like hibachi. Um, Am I saying that right? It's like I'm saying kibachi, <laughs> but it's hibachi, but y'all know. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to show y'all all the ingredients that I have. All right, y'all, so now we are back in the kitchen. About to whip it up. So, um, I already show y'all most of the ingredients that I have, but right now we are going to make the cornbread. And I did change, so I got my pajamas down. Uh, yes, be more comfortable and stuff, so... Um, I'm gonna make the cornbread. Um, I got all of the stuff right here. Got the eggs, the milk, and the spray, oil spray. So, um, yeah, right now it is seven o'clock. This is my old phone. It's seven o'clock, and we finna whip it up. So. I'm gonna open the box. I will set y'all up. So let me see if I can tell y'all just right here. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay. So this is what the cornbread looks like. I'm only making one box because I don't need that much. And um, I think I'm only going to be able to do four, which is good because it's only me and my grandma. So it's not like a lot of people. So the next step is eggs. So one egg, I'm going to crack it. And put it in here. Next up is one half of a cup of milk. Y'all saw that? Alright. Here's the milk. It's always something. Always something. It's okay, y'all. Alright. It don't look like that's enough, but I'm gonna stir it up just to see. Yeah, I can be clumsy sometimes. Okay, I'm about to go get a spoon. Okay, get that spoon. Now I'm gonna mix it up. All right, y'all, so we're going to put the cornbread mix inside of here. I hope y'all can see it. Y'all can see a little bit. Um, that's why I have moved a little bit because I want y'all to see. Hold on. I can't, I can't even do y'all like that. It's okay. But, yep, let's do it. All right, here. I have to do y'all like this because y'all was not going to be able to see it. Gonna get some water and do this process all over again. So I gotta hurry up because y'all like it's dripping. So all right, 
right, we're gonna do these last two back here. I might gonna have to make an extra one because this is kind of a lot for four. So I'm about to get back with y'all when I'm done with doing this part. Okay, y'all. So I end up doing two more, which is six in total, and that's good because that'll be three for the both of us. So yes, let's uh, turn our oven. I already got the light on, so we're gonna turn it to. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna turn it to 300 and we're gonna put it in the oven. And there we go. Okay, y'all, so I got the pots and pans out already. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna do is wash my hands. So let's do it. Dry the hands off. I already got the pasta pans out because I already showed y'all. Um, we finna put some water into the pot because this is where the rice is going. So. Alright, and there's the water. Can y'all see that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to do it. I'm just going to keep it in there because I'm, I'm being real. I'm being real. I can't believe it. Honestly, I need to get something to show y'all a better way instead of always tilting it and just like spilling stuff. So, yeah. But the water. And then I'm going to add some salt. And then I'm going to put it on the eye. And um, I'm going to show you this real quick. Can y'all see that? Okay, so let's turn the eye to uh, right here. At least four. And there we go. I'm going to wait until it gets hot. As y'all can see, it is done boiling. Now I'm about to pour the rice in there. That is one scoop of rice. Then I'm pouring the other half. At first, I wasn't going to do it, but I wanted to make sure we had enough rice. So the next step I'm doing is just stirring it up because you got to make sure you stir up your rice so it won't all be bunched up together and stuff. And you can just get more of the flavor when you do that. We wait on the water to boil for the rice. We are gonna start um, doing the steak. So I gotta do it over the sink because it is red juice in here, which I need to. I was trying to figure out where where I, you know, if it's an opening on here, but it's not one. Because usually they have opens, but this one don't have one. So, yep, that's why I'm doing over the sink. We finna cut it. And then I'm gonna put it in, on a, a cutting board right here. it off a little bit. Thank you. 
See y'all when I'm cutting up the steak and seasoning. Alright, y'all. So the next step that I'm doing is cutting up the steak. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. This steak was so thick, it was so hard to cut, but I got through it and yeah. Um, this is my first steak, by the way. I didn't do the other two because it was gonna be the same process all over again, and it didn't make no sense to keep doing that on camera. These are all the seasonings that I will be using for the steak. The first one is black pepper, then seasoning salt, then steak seasoning, then onion powder, garlic powder. Y'all probably like, this is too much. And then bay leaves. And that's all the seasonings. I am pouring some soy sauce in the steak. Then I'm stirring up all the seasoning and the soy sauce all together. As y'all can see, I already put one half of butter in there and then I put in some olive oil. I make sure I put enough olive oil, especially when you cook meat, you gotta put enough. Then I'm putting some soy sauce in there. Then I'm stirring it up around real good. I can make sure I get the corners and everywhere before I add the meat into it. Next up, I'm pouring the steak inside the pan. And that's all of the steak. I'm going to cook the steak for at least four to six minutes. I might cook it longer than that because I like mine to be all the way done. Not half done, not none of that. I just like it all to be done and cooked. As y'all can see, I'm just stirring it up around. So I wanted to check on the rice. The rice looked like it's done. But I wanted to stir it up some more and yep I wanted to check on the corn but it looks good next I'm buttering and spraying down the pan that I'm about to use for my veggies I'm using Cajun and black pepper for my veggies I am now pouring the veggies inside the pan Then I'm just stirring it up a little bit, make sure it gets all the butter. Next, I am seasoning it down, which I showed y'all earlier. That is black pepper and some Cajun seasoning. The next step is to add some soy sauce. Then I'm going to stir it up one more good time to make sure it gets everything. Okay, y'all, so I decided to make my own yum yum sauce. I'm scared because I don't know how it's going to turn out. And I don't want to waste my time doing this. But we're going to do it. So, yes, I have all the ingredients right here. Water, yum, mayo, 
paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, black pepper, I got sugar, butter, and ketchup. And y'all, I don't like ketchup, so I really hope this come out right, and I hope I don't taste the ketchup, because like I said, I do not like ketchup at all. So I'm finna set y'all up. So I'm doing one spoon of the olive oil mayo. Doing the same process with American Whip. Next is pour ketchup. Y'all, I do not like ketchup at all. So, ooh, I was scared that I was going to taste it. I don't like ketchup, y'all. Next up is sugar, it's one spoon of sugar. Then it's black pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Then the last season is paprika. Then they said add water to it. Then after doing all of that, I put the top on there because I'm finna blend it. You don't have to, you can just stir it up. Okay y'all, so I thought I was filming the part where I blended all together, but I wasn't, but here's what it looks like. It looks like the, okay, I can't show you like this, but it looks like the actual yum sauce. I'm scared, y'all, because I don't like ketchup, and I don't want to smell the ketchup. I mean, I don't want to taste the ketchup. Okay. Shocked. It's actually good and it tastes like yam sauce. That's crazy. Okay, this is a 10 out of 10. So I get back with y'all later. I wanted to check on the food and everything is looking quite done. I'm finna pour the rice inside the pan and stir it up. And add it on the soy sauce to the rice as well. This is what it's looking like. Cornbread officially done. The veggies are done too. 
I was finding a new soy sauce that I bought a couple of days ago. The other one was half gone, and then I have poured it in there, and then the veggies as well, and I stirred it up with the rice. This is what it's looking like so far. Stirring up the egg. Then I'm pouring the eggs inside the pot, and then I'm just going to wait until it starts cooking. This is what the eggs are looking like. I already put salt and pepper inside of it. I'm just adding the eggs inside of the hibashi now. As y'all can see, I add the egg and the veggie and the rice all together. The steak is right here. I'm going to add it. I add it on the steak and ta-da! Everything is done and cooking and now it's time to eat. Okay, y'all, so now I am back in my room. Um, I got my cornbread right here. I did eat the half of it because, yeah, I was hungry. Okay, here is the hibachi, and I'm about to eat it without the yum yum sauce. I did good. It's always something. Oh y'all, I forgot to add the um the onions. Like I feel like don't forget the onions, don't forget the onions, don't forget the onions. And y'all, I forgot to make them. I was like, bro. Oh well, next time I'll use it. You don't really need to add onion. You can do your own style, it doesn't really matter. So I'm not really too mad, but next time I will add the onion this time I mean next time 